Today I want to share with you an awesome tool called ScreenSizes.app. Before we dive in, I do want to give the shout out in the info page to Christopher Muller, Trevor K for creating this. It's crafted by Toast. All credit to them, obviously they built it. Uh, but ScreenSizes.app. Here's why I think every iOS developer should have this bookmarked on their browser. So here you see, I have iPhone. I can search by models. Let's just look at the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Hey, we got a new notch. Did we get any new resolutions? Right, as you can see, you can see all the different resolutions. Uh, you can see safe areas, all the different things. Basically anything you need to know about a display, you can see the widgets and then all their display stuff. And I don't know if you were aware, but users can go to zoom mode, which completely changes the resolution. So you can see what that is on iPhone 13 Pro Max. As you can see back to standard, all the numbers change. That is, you know, you can search all these iPhone models going all the way back, see seven plus. So as an iOS developer, it's getting a little crazy, all the different resolutions and screen sizes we have to support, which is now why a tool like this is so invaluable. So that's searching by uh, you know, a specific model. You can search by specific display sizes, right? 6.7 slim notch, that's the new iPhone 13, but you can search by that. Also, you notice on the left here, we have iPads. Same exact thing for the iPads. Hey, the new iPad mini just launched. Let me learn about the resolutions for that properties, right? You can see PPI pixels per inch, I believe. Aspect ratio does it support true tone, what type of display it is. Uh, the cool thing about the iPads is you get all the multitasking resolutions, right? What two thirds ports it split. You can see on the left, all the different, you know, multitasking window sizes you can have. Well, again, you'll get that on the display. So again, an insanely valuable asset for any developer building an iOS ecosystem. We have to deal with so many screen sizes and resolutions iPod touch. Okay. <laughs> but it's there, you know, Apple watch, same thing, all the different uh, information, CarPlay, Apple TV. Cool thing. I like compare models. So this is only for the phone, but you get all that information in kind of like a spreadsheet. As you see, I'm scrolling down. You can also scroll to the right to get all this stuff. Now my screen is zoomed in a bit. So, you know, naturally you're probably going to be able to see a lot more of this, right? Like this is probably how I would view it looking at it normally, but that's way too small for you. But anyway, as you can see, invaluable set of information to have at your fingertips. Again, as us as iOS developers developing for so many different screen sizes now.